In your VR game, it can make a big difference to customize in-game hands to heighten the feeling of presence and improve visual feedback. At the very least, you probably want to replace the Steam VR defaults of Vive controllers. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Vive Grip framework to do just that with a couple dozen lines of simple code. Let's start by getting rid of the default models. Unity might warn you that you're breaking Steam VR's prefab, but that's all right. It was bound to happen sooner or later. Then we can replace it with our custom in-game model. Be sure to make it a child of the controller object, just like the model you're replacing. As you do this, feel free to move the controller objects, the parent of the models, to whatever gives you a good view of them. Steam VR will set their position properly when you run the game. In this case, I separate the hands and lift them up, making them more distinct in the scene and easier to work with. Just like that, we have static hand models, no code required. But it doesn't look quite right, or feel like a hand should. The next step is to make the hands move and give feedback when they touch or grab something. Let's create a new script to handle this. We're going to define four methods, one each for starting and stopping a hand grabbing, and one each for starting and stopping a hand touching. Vive Grip has an easy to use extension system with specific methods that allow you to hook into every time these events happen. Let's start by defining some meshes to swap between when we're touching an object. We can pick these through the inspector. And then handle grabbing by changing the hand's color. Now the hand reacts as we interact with the virtual world around us. It wasn't a lot more work, but it feels a lot more intuitive and interesting than before. However, there are still some subtle problems with the script. When grabbing something, the hand will rest even when we're touching another object. Similarly, the hand will rest when we stop touching even if we're still grabbing. That doesn't feel right and breaks the immersion. But there's a simple solution. When the Vive Grip events are called, they pass in the associated grip point script that called them. That script has all the helper methods we need to cover edge cases like these. We can see that the hands behave just like we'd intuitively expect now. By leveraging Vive Grip's extension system with a little bit of code, the feel of the game improves dramatically. There's a lot more to the API and there's so much you can do with it. So why not download Vive Grip and try it for yourself? 